four or five years ago when I unboxed this thing and got a look at the latest, greatest, you know, MAG-77 after they had made the changes they had made and I had some comments on that, I pointed out that I had a hack in mind so that the guard would slide back a little easier when you came up to a piece of work and wanted to plunge because that guard doesn't really want to get a hold. Well, there's finally been time to think about doing it. And it's so simple, it's really, I mean, how do you even call it a hack? You just get out a file, whatever kind of file you've got. In this case, I'm gonna start with a three-cornered file. And you grind, you file some teeth in there. You just change it so it's not so smooth. I mean, I guess a saw should have teeth on the outside of it and not just on the blade, right? I'm not even positive this is gonna help much, but I've gotta try something. I'm gonna sharpen up the edge of that, maybe with this. Yeah, let's get a little bit sharper. Let's see if we've helped it. I think it's better. It's not much better. All right, I've got to come back around the circumference a little bit and keep doing this. As you know, I already did the review on these two saws. And as you've just realized, I forgot to even talk about this contrast, and that is the shape and the function of the guard. So putting the teeth on it helped this one somewhat, because frankly, it was deficient right out of the box. This one, right out of the box, had a little toe on there that would already grab a hold, and I sharpened that up, and it'll get a hold even on that piece of hardwood. So what does that mean? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't make any difference to you. Maybe you never feel like you need to do a plunge cut. But if you do, remember, keep a good tight grip on these bad boys and uh, maybe take a file to your MAG-77 and give it just a little tooth out there where it needs it. If this has been a problem for you and if you figured out a better way to solve it, let us know in the comments, would you? Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman. Keep up the good work.